Hey everybody, it's right, CPP Tech. How you guys doing today? Woo, you're gonna get a tester, a USB power tester. It's not only a power tester, a USB digital tester. Woo! Hey everybody, welcome to CPP Tech. How are you guys doing today? I thank you guys for clicking on my video and do yourself a favor. Light up that subscribe button. What's up everybody? I'm trying to find this USB digital tester. I don't know where it's at. Where'd it go? There it is! We found it! Yay! All right, guys, so what we're actually gonna do is go over this USB digital tester. Uh, we're gonna kind of look and see how it works. Um, I'll explain to you how it does work, and then we're actually gonna talk about whether or not you need one for it. I really like it, uh, it's pretty cool. So uh, there's two ways today you can get this. Uh, one, you can go on Amazon and buy it, I think it's like 25 bucks, or you can actually wait to the end of the video because I'm giving this away. At the end of the video, I will tell you exactly how. So stay tuned. So basically what this thing does is, and we'll demonstrate some of this stuff, but it's got a USB 3.0 and USB-C. And uh, if you have a power pack or a power bank, or even on your computer, what it does, it actually will, when you plug it in, it will tell you what uh, what kind of current is actually flowing to your device. So you would actually plug this in or this in into your computer or your or your power pack, and then you would plug your device into this end or this end. And what it will do is actually tell you what what kind of voltage is, is drawn, the amps, and uh, I believe the watts. So. It also does the temperature as well. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to demonstrate all that to you for right now. Okay, so what you're actually going to see, we're going to plug this thing in and it's going to light up. So it actually is going to tell you what kind of volts and amps and power draw that this uh, actual, the, this, this particular power pack is, is actually is drawn. So this one's doing 5 volts and 0.5 or 0.05. Uh, it looks like it's running at, what is that, 21 Celsius. So that's pretty cool. So what's going to happen is we're actually going to plug in the GoPro first. So let's see what kind of, let's see what kind of draw this, this GoPro does. Um, I hope it doesn't zap me. <laughs> oh. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so if you look at it, before we plug it in, you got five volts. You can actually watch and see it change once we get this plugged in. So now it's running four, five volts and it looks like the GoPro is pulling 0 0.21, 0 0.22 amps. So you know, you know that's working so long as you know the specifications of the device that you're actually plugging into. So that's pretty cool. Um, I actually have a light sitting here as well. What these things is, I like this light. This light's pretty cool. You can actually hook it up to your, your USB on your laptop and it actually give you a light. So right now, again, we're back to five volts and 0 .0, 0 0.05 amps because that's what the charger is actually pushing. So we're gonna plug in this light, and the light's on, and let's see what it's pulling. So it's pulling five volts and 0 0.18 amps. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so now we're actually gonna use the USB-C, and we're gonna go ahead and plug in this power pack for, uh, for the Apple. So here's the thing with this, all right? So it's gonna plug in the USB-C, and if you notice, it's not turning on, all right? It turned on whenever you just plug the USB in to the other one, but it didn't turn, it don't turn on when you plug it into this one. 
See how it turns on right away on the on the regular USB power pack? Well, I've discovered, and I'll be honest, I do not know why. See, it's not on. As soon as I plug this other cable in, now it's not attached to anything, but as soon as I plug this other one in, then it turns on. So, I don't know if that's just part of the USB-C or what, but, you know, if you guys know, leave a comment below. Uh, this five has got this one has 5.09 volts and 0. Or, yeah, 0 0.05 amps. So what we're going to actually do is we're going to plug it into the iPad, and we're going to see if the the voltage is probably not going to change. The amps probably will. So as soon as we plug it in, the amps jumped up to 2.61, 2.60, and 5.03 amps or volts for the for the power so that, that that's pretty much well with the USB-C you can actually just see whether or not it's actually drawing the right power for for your device it also comes with these these things it's got USB uh, male and USB female and then you got alligator clips okay so technically if you plug this into your power source regardless of what it is you can actually grab your voltometer and plug it into these alligator clips. Clip these on to your leads on your on your voltometer, and you can actually test to see whether or not your power pack is actually bad or not as well. And that's where I was going to get into here in a second on what this thing is actually being used for. Okay, so in conclusion, uh, this thing's pretty neat. What it will do actually will it will tell you whether or not you have a bad power pack. If let's say the USB ports on your computer is starting to act up, your mouse is acting up or what have you, you got a wireless mouse or wireless keyboard, you can actually plug this into your into your uh, peripherals on your computer and see if the the voltage and the amps and all that stuff is actually drawing what it's supposed to be. Uh, I think it's really cool because, so I don't know if you guys have ever had a problem with your power cable for your phone and you know the first thing you do is you go buy yourself a brick you know because you think the brick has gone bad you plug it in and it does the same thing you know it just won't charge you're like great I got a bad battery or what have you and then come to find out it's just the power cord. Well, this is a great tool to troubleshoot that stuff with, and it's only 25 bucks, or free, if you stayed this long. Um, but it comes with, like I told you, these alligator clips. If you're not familiar on how the voltometer works, I highly suggest not using this, because if you touch the red and the black, when it is plugged into the power, you might have yourself a little fun time. Um, It'll go. So, with that being said, I, I wouldn't recommend unless you know what you're doing actually using those. So, do you need one of these? No, you don't. Is it a handy tool to have into your pocket? Not literally, but just around. Yeah, it is. And if you actually work on cell phones a lot, uh, I think I think it'd be beneficial for you as well. So now I guess it's time to tell you how to get this. Uh, first, you have to subscribe. And then second, follow me on Twitter. I'll leave a link below for that. And... You can either do a one or two things. You can either comment on Twitter or comment on this video on whether or not you like it, you don't like it, what you like about the video, what you didn't like about the video. Uh, anybody can win so long as you've commented, you follow me on Twitter, and you're subscribed to the channel. That's it. I'll announce it on March 20th on my live show at 7 p.m. Central Time. All right, well, thank you for watching. You know what to do. Have a good day. Take care and stay safe. USB.
Digital play, 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 play,